Hello, this is David. Now, we're going to show you two things in this video. Now, in the last one, I told you that the green card will block out 25 numbers, needles. So, if you're using less than 25, because I'm going to do 20 for this open edge cast on, 10 each side of the middle. Now, the green card isn't going to work because if you put it behind the needles like that, as soon as you approach it with the cast on hem, it just barges it out the way. Yes, the row counter will catch the middle one. That's no use, is it? So, what you do is you put the yellow card between the holding needles and the non working needles, like that. Now, I've got a wee besom, a stiff brush, to quickly knock all those latches open. I'm going to pop the cast on hem on again. Got to get it central without knocking your carriage off the bed. And so slip it on. Now, for a closed edge cast on, I prefer shearing elastic. So I'm going to hang that in there. I cut that off ready. I've got two clips on each end of it. Sometimes I find closed edge cast done with uh, the ravel cord can fight back a bit. And we don't want that. We want it all to be nice and easy. So we get um, a slip knot. Onto the single prong. And we're going to pop that straight onto the last left hand needle and a wee clip on the tail and then we're simply going to wind this yarn counterclockwise round each of the needles I'm using my single prong just to keep it back you don't have to do that I just find it easier now you probably will do this better than me you won't keep closing all your latches as you go along. So I just wanted to do uh, a wee one because you don't want to sit there for hours watching me doing this. And also it was a chance to demonstrate how to block out smaller numbers of needles with the yellow card rather than with the green ones. Pull back all the slack, bring the carriage almost into position making sure your yarn's properly in now take the yellow card out now what I want you to do is I want you to take this card and I want you to push the needles back with it until the latches literally land on the loops that you've just created and that's the forward working position now we'll knit the first row, fingers crossed it works, check all the latches are open and take up the slack, and we've knitted our first row and they've all knitted nicely so we can just knit now. Remember, yeah. I should have said in the open edge cast on video you have to take up the slack at the start of a row because if you don't you're going to get a big loop forming and it's going to spoil your knitting there we are we're just knitting along beautifully now just before I go the reason I showed you how to block these needles out without putting anything behind them is because when you get knitting a garment you're going to be doing things like cable stitch, intarsia and some other patterns, cabling which you're going to have to have some of your needles are going to have to be in the forward working position some of them are going to have to be in the working position I'll just show you like this and some of them are going so you're going to have combinations of needles some of them in the forward position and some of them in the usual working position and there's no 
card that will go between there and that's why I showed you how to push your needles back without any card behind them so let's just quickly do that so we just push them back until the stitches and the latches meet like that and then we just knit the row as normal and that just knits them all so there you go that's two lessons in one thank you for watching